This episode is brought to you by StarPill Pro. StarPill Pro is your new online portal for professional discounts and preferred pricing on wholesale waxing supplies. Stay tuned for an exclusive invite to StarPill Pro at the end of the show. Welcome to our third episode of the Pink Table Talk YouTube series. Whoa, 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 whoa. My name is Nicole. And I'm Jolly. And we are the community and social media managers at Starpill here in the U.S. So today we'll be diving into differences between stripless hard wax and soft strip wax. And we'll be waxing... We'll even be waxing both so you can visually compare and contrast both types of waxes. Yep. If you've been thinking about adding either hard wax or soft wax or even roll on wax into your service menu, if you just want to learn about one, what even is the difference between either of them? Um, you know, we're going to go into those key differences, the benefits and the way that you can incorporate both of them into your services, which services they're best for, which skin types are best for. And like Nicole mentioned, we're going to be doing actual waxing um, to visually show that if you do want to skip to the waxing we will put the timestamp here so you can get right into the waxing video and yeah stay tuned let's get into it okay so yali what did you mainly focus on in your aesthetics course what type of wax did you guys use we did both um during my clinical hours we used both I noticed, though, that the book focused more on soft wax. So, you know, the curriculum can change semester by semester or year by year, however it's set up in your particular state. But um, the book was focused a little bit more on soft strip wax, considering probably the book was older than the curriculum. Um, I had already, you know, been working at Star Pill and with wax for some time. So I was familiar already, but... It was clear to me in the class that soft wax was actually a little bit more of a struggle. Okay. Um, so wh why was it more of a struggle compared to hard wax? I think people see a lot of hard wax now, especially like in media and things like that. And they see the way it's applied. It's, it's easy and things like that. And they kind of think it's the same approach with soft wax, but it's not. It's a completely different application and removal process. It's... It's it's more um, abrasive, I would say, if it's done incorrectly. Mm -hmm. So I think taking the approach that it's the exact same thing was the main struggle that I would like see and like around the classroom and things like that during those clinical hours. But I think hard wax was introduced into the curriculum because it's so attractive now, especially like in our region. Right. I mean, it's the removal is completely different. You're using less items to complete the application and removal and it's more comfortable for people for people so for people <laughs> for people so um but yeah ultimately we worked with both the book was focused more on soft wax but um we already know like hard wax has taken over the yeah. game right now yeah yeah and just from you know being on social media and you know you know this too we've talked about this that People now learning aesthetics, like in aesthetics courses, schools, they're learning both soft wax and hard wax when historically, like you're saying, the book and older courses only taught with soft wax. So it's good that in school, hard wax and soft wax is being introduced to SDs so they don't have to learn it mm -hmm. on their own after they graduate. I know that's not the case for absolutely everyone, but... At least, you know, schools and courses are evolving and incorporating both types of waxes into their curriculums. Yep, 100%. And, like, we're Starpill. We're from Spain. And you will see a completely different, like, dynamic in the just, like, the landscape of waxing and the way people teach or just the services offered or even the wax offered. Like, you'll see a completely different landscape for that in a different part of the world definitely definitely so it's just a different case i mean we're tailoring to the customers at the end of the day over here so yeah but yeah 
So I guess let's get into the key differences between hard wax and soft wax. Just to give a lowdown to whoever's, you know, thinking of incorporating hard wax or soft wax that they're not using, esthetician students, people that just want a refresher, wh- whoever's listening for, you know, hard wax and soft wax. So give me the lowdown, Nicole. Give me the lowdown. I know you use all of our, pretty much all of our, yes, most of our hard waxes, right? And yes. And you love them. I do. I love them. <laughs> Pink is my favorite. I just love the creaminess of it. It's just so easy to apply um, and super spreadable. Love it. Um, so with hard wax, there's no strips involved, which I like. It is. It cuts down the waist and cuts down, I guess, not time, but I guess the amount of products you're using when waxing, it's just the wax with hard wax. So no removal strips necessary for hard wax. And there are, you know, Star Plus has so many different formulas that cater to skin type. So I do have sensitive skin and I have acne prone skin. So when I am waxing my face, I'll use, I'll only use pink film or Star Soft just because those two are formulated for you know sensitive skin and I've even mixed the two together and I love the mix like it is so creamy and um elastic and just like very easy to manipulate which I also like um apart from that well I mean star pole formulas the blue film I've used blue film too I've used black film and those formulas while they're hard wax they're a lot stronger on the skin and I don't want to use the word abrasive but are more not the, not abrasive but they're stronger in pulling out hair on the skin mm-hmm. so I have used blue film and black film both on my legs and have gotten a super smooth result and then have used pink film and star soft as cleanup strips Mm -hmm. when I do my legs so that's another thing it's easier to clean up with hard wax as opposed to soft wax and one of the things that I love most about hard wax is that it can be put on the same area of the skin multiple times exactly so in case like one pull doesn't get all the hair you can go over it again to make sure that you take out all of the hair Mm -hmm. with hard wax um and yeah yeah. What else do you have to add about <laughs> hard wax, right? No, yeah, you touched on, I feel like, all of the points. I mean, it's a much more comfortable process, I feel, for clients, and I feel like that's why they ask for it so much, and that's why, um, you know, it's moving into the space so much. And like you said, that cleanup strip, which we always, you know, we typically recommend, you go in for that initial strip and right after the initial strip, you go in for a cleanup strip in the opposite direction. So make sure you can get all the hair and just move on from that area. Um, it's a little bit different when you're using soft wax, right? So I guess I'll highlight some of the things about soft wax that kind of contrast what you just mentioned. And starting with that, um, depending on the skin that you're working on, depending on the uh, any sensitivities that your client might have or even the area that you're working on, you don't necessarily want to go over the skin with a soft wax more than maybe twice and twice is of course depending like I mentioned um because of the fact that it's such a um it's an ultra exfoliator you know what I mean it's sticking to the skin and the hair and you are like amplifying that when you put the removal strip and you kind of pass your hand over it to make sure it's adhering to the wax it's adhering to the skin too so you want to be um, a little bit more cautious when you're using the soft wax. And that's one of those differences. Like you can get in there with the hard wax. Um, I love soft wax. I love soft wax. I love the effectiveness of it. And I love what it does to my skin in terms of like brightness. Uh, but again, there are certain cautions that you take when using the diff- when yeah. you understand you know, the difference and you understand what that you need to be careful with skin when you're waxing, mm-hmm. then you know. Yeah. 
Um, obviously with soft wax, you are using the removal strips. This is beneficial for like precision waxing. If you love brows, it's a really great product to use on brows. Um, it leaves the smooth, the skin really smooth and really clean. If you are having like clients who are focusing on brightening their areas, lightening the skin areas, maybe in the Brazilian, the bikini or the underarms, like it's a really good product to use. Um, and yeah, although, you know, hard wax is being formulated in so many different ways to tailor to the specific client, Mm -hmm. soft wax has in some ways, those varieties, like a smaller variety, of course. Mm-hmm. But um, I think the main focus is having a creamy soft wax and a crystalline soft wax. And that way you're able to get the job done. Aside from that, one of my favorite things about it, I will say, and I know this is a struggle for a lot of estheticians using hard wax on like large and dry areas like the legs, is with soft wax, you're not racing against the clock. Right. Right. To wait until the strip like actually dries down. Right. Like, for example, if you're a speed waxer and you like to apply multiple strips at once, but you're using a strip that's hard wax that dries super fast and you know that you kind of have to stay within a certain time frame to make sure that your wax is not drying too much. But that's not the case with soft wax because it stays how it is. Um, So you can coat the entire area if you wanted to. And then go in with the removal strips all at once. So it's kind of like a two-step process, almost coat and then remove. And you're not racing against a certain time clock. So I really do like that. I think that's one of the benefits of using soft wax. Um, It's a much different application. It's much more thin. So you are using a little bit less product. Uh, The profit margins can be higher when you're using soft wax too. So I think hard wax and soft wax contrast um, a lot in some ways. But their differences are very purposeful and yeah i think that's one of the you know some of the main differences between the two we love it all here at (laughs) starboard wax we love it all would you say and this may be a question that viewers have when using soft wax for example if you use our roll-on for legs and i know that legs are a stronger body part like they can take more it's a less sensitive area than let's say your face or even the brazilian But if you're using the roll-on, let's say you use a roll-on all over your legs, Mm -hmm. but let's say a few hairs don't come off. Mm -hmm. Since the roll-on does use soft wax Mm -hmm. for the cleanup strips, if let's say you wanted to, can you use hard wax to clean that up after using soft wax? Yeah, 100%. I love using hard wax after using soft wax if you want to be... You know, you want to remain gentle on the skin. Um, Since you're talking about roll-on specifically, I will say that roll-on, it's a very particular product. It kind of chooses the thickness of the wax. You know, that's like a preset thing with the roller head. And that's something that's super important when you're using soft wax. You apply it paper thin. Right. And the roll-on does that for you with no effort. So you are sometimes able to go over... Like if, you know, if there's like a hair like right here and you don't necessarily need to coat the entire area, you can roll on just over that hair area. And since it's applying so thin both the first and second time, you can go for it. But if you would rather cover larger areas, 100 percent, I would go with hard wax. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Um. So I mentioned a little bit more about having a creamy and crystalline, Mm. and these apply for both hard waxes and soft waxes. I think, you know, there's estheticians who carry tons of formulas in their back bar. They might have all of the film uh, hard wax formulas that we carry, or they might have all of the soft wax uh, formulas that we carry. But I think the most important thing is to have a creamy and crystalline. So like blue film, which is crystalline, and pink film, which is creamy, and the same thing for the soft waxes, the the blue and the pink. So apart from, I guess, the obvious word of creamy, you imagine creamy to be more spreadable, all of that. What would you say the the biggest differences are between a creamy formula and a crystalline formula? So creamy formulas, which we call them creamy because they have the presence of titanium dioxide is yeah. in that formula. That's what makes it smooth. That's what makes it buttery. That's what makes it able to be used on more sensitive skin types. Like, The biggest thing that we um, 
were informing people about, I feel like when we launched the pink soft wax Mm -hmm. was the fact that it can be used on people who do have maybe a diabetic who has like circulation problems and things like that. So those are the kinds of waxes that you want to use on sensitive areas and on sensitive clients. So like the underarms, the Brazilian, the bikini, um, and the face. Right now the crystalline, if you're using a film formula, it's made for sensitive skin, especially if it's hard wax. Um, but I think it's better for large areas and areas um, or skin types that are not that sensitive, especially if you're using a soft wax because two different experiences. Right. Um, yeah. Did I answer your question? I feel like I went on a tangent right there. I think so. I think so. Have we been going on tangents <laughs> this whole time? <laughs> um. Okay, so then essentially – what makes the formulas creamy and creamy formulas like pink film is the titanium titanium dioxide mm-hmm. and then the crystalline formulas what's in the crystalline formulas that doesn't make it creamy it's the micro crystalline so it's okay. one of the main components in the film hard wax right. and that's what uh gives it like the gel like like the glassy texture versus right. like that creamy soft buttery stuff got it Okay, well, you answered my question. (laughs) Um, Okay, well, I'm so excited to show everyone the differences between soft wax and, well, soft wax, hard wax, but the different types of formulas, the creamy formulas and the crystalline formulas. We're going to be showcasing pink film, blue film, pink soft wax, and blue soft wax for you guys. So let's get into it. Yep, I'm super excited. We're going to be doing a leg wax, you guys. Um, shout out to our lovely graphic designer, <laughs> Mr. Jonathan. Um, he has so graciously offered his legs, his legs. <laughs> to be our model today. We are going to be showing you the, like Nicole mentioned, the blue and the so- the blue and the pink soft and hard. And we're going to throw in roll-on so you can see just, oh, I love roll-on. I love roll-ons for legs, like... Roll-ons are my go-to for full leg wax. It's quick. And you've been seeing a lot of estheticians get into it recently because, mm-hmm. like, it's, like, snowballing, like, the magic behind it. Yes. Um, so if you haven't seen how these work on those large, like, really time-consuming, and to be honest with you, pretty laborious. Is that a word? But it's, like, hard work to do full legs yeah. and a full back and everything like that. Um, the ease of it then just wait till you see it. So that was a great conversation, you know, discussing the differences between hard wax and soft wax. Now we're going to bring in our client that we're going to be waxing. He has never waxed his legs before. So this is going to be very exciting. And he'll give us an honest, his honest opinion about the difference between his soft wax experience and his hard wax experience. We're going to be waxing one leg with soft wax and one leg with hard wax. Yeah. And, and a little bit of roll on. Yes. And a little bit of roll on. I'm going to step out you guys and I'm going to have right. Nicole, you want to ask him a couple of questions. Yes. This is first time. Yes. And then we'll do another kind of like little interview after and see how it went. Exactly. Yes. Excited. All right. So I'm going to go set the wax up and everything, and I will be back. We'll bring Jonathan in. Welcome, Jonathan. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here and for volunteering your legs. I mean, somebody's got to do it. (laughs) Taking one for the team. So you are our graphic designer here at Starpill. Yes. Yes. Have you ever waxed any part of your body before? Um, not, I mean, only in my face. I did a uh, nose wax, which wasn't the most pleasant experience, but I've never waxed anything else. So I'm kind of a little bit nervous, but I'm more curious more than anything because I've seen these waxes for over a year. Right. And I think I know everything about them, but I don't, I never know how it feels. So, right. So now you're going to actually experience what it feels to have different types of wax on your legs and you don't have i mean we'll show it now when we wax but your legs aren't super your leg hair isn't super thick it's 
Yeah. <laughs> it's like they're they're hairy, but they're not super thick, right? No. I mean, oh, that's what I I mean. You're the assertion, so you tell me. <laughs> no, I don't think they're that thick. <laughs> right. Okay, well, no need to be nervous. It's going to be all good. We're going to we're going to take care of your legs, don't worry. So, let's get into it. Let's go. Let's do it.
That was great. Welcome back. <laughs> that Welcome was awesome. Back. Amazing. Yeah. I'm really hoping that you were able to see the difference between hard wax and soft wax and especially the roll on wax. I mean, a breeze. Uh, we're going to bring Jonathan back, right? Yes, we're going to bring Jonathan back to talk about his experience, how the different waxes felt on his legs since this was his first wax ever on his legs. So it'll be interesting to hear what he has to say about just even the feeling of get, getting waxed. It definitely, par like, it gives you perspective as to, obviously as an esthetician, you know what it feels like too, but different people have different pain thresholds, sensations, uh, skin sensitivities, everything like that. You can see that all of the waxes were effective. It didn't matter which one particularly it was. But again, you use them differently. They feel a little bit different. So I'm excited to see what he says. Yes. Give us some insight. Yes. Yeah. All right. So let's bring him in. Okay, we're back. Jonathan. Yes, we are. <laughs> so we waxed your legs with the creamy pink soft wax, the pink hard wax, yes. the pink roll on, and the blue hard wax. Hard wax, yeah. So tell us, how was it the soft wax, the pink soft wax compared to the pink hard wax and the blue hard wax? What were the differences for you? Well, I would say the, the biggest difference between them would be maybe the pain levels. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it was nothing excruciating or anything like that. It was it was a perfectly smooth transition from each of them. I couldn't tell if I had my eyes closed and you didn't tell me anything. I wouldn't even know. Right. I would just know that maybe one hurt a little bit more than the other one. <laughs> but, Which uh, one hurt a little bit less than the other one? And remember, guys, he has never, never. waxed his legs before, ever. So this is like a pure, pure reaction and experience. Yes, definitely. I mean, I would say the one that hurt the least would be pink soft wax in the back of my leg. And uh, that was, uh, I don't know if the, the easiest, well, no, no, it was, I could feel the easiest application would be the roll on, but that mm -hmm. hurt maybe a little bit more. But um, it would be like the, the most satisfying application in the end, it would hurt a little bit more. That's mm -hmm. how I started feeling. I felt like a little bit like food. It's like right. the more delicious the food, in the end, it's going to hurt you more. Right, <laughs> right, right. But uh, it, it was all great in the end. And I just feel like a little baby. You know, right? like my I legs, <laughs> like I feel rejuvenated. I feel, and I don't know if maybe it's, it's because Yali is such a pro, but uh, in the end, it's just it just feels good. Or just because um, it's not maybe because I work for Starpill, but at the same time, I do know that the, the wax is just better. <laughs> it is. It is. The best of the best. Yeah, for sure. Well, thank you so much for being our model and for going, you know, through your different experiences. It's definitely surprising, at least for me, to hear that the pink soft wax was the wax that hurt the least yep. and that the hard wax actually hurt the most because yes. it's usually the opposite. So very interesting to hear that and to see it, too. So, I mean, yeah. I, I would like to add maybe that um, definitely the roll on was the fastest. Oh, yeah. Like without a doubt. I mean, the pink soft wax was fast. Everything is fast. I could tell that the soft wax is just faster mm -hmm. than, than the hard wax. But at the same time, like the roll on really just impressed me overall. Right. It was just I could tell that it was just easy to work with and it just felt easy on my leg. And that was just, I don't know, wonderful, I guess. Right. And I feel wonderful, so. The feeling of <laughs> gliding on the wax. Yeah, I, I just want to rub my legs into everything now. <laughs> you are going to have such a good night's sleep, rubbing your legs in your sheets. Oh, it's going to be amazing. I'm so excited for you. Um, thank you again, Jonathan, truly. Oh, thank you. We always appreciate you. And stay tuned for the next episode. To shop any of the hard or soft wax products you saw today, or to discover your new favorite Star Pill Wax formula, head to the link in the description box below. Use code PINKTALK at checkout for 15% off of your order at starpillwax.com. This episode was brought to you by Star Pill Pro, wholesale wax reimagined. The Starpill Pro Portal is a new online portal where you can manage your bulk orders with the ease of just a few clicks. 
no more time consuming phone calls or email threads. Supply your business in your style with StarPill Pro. The link to apply for your account is in the description box below. Thank you so much for tuning in to episode number three of yes. the Ping Table Talk, uh, Hard Wax versus Soft Wax. Next time, we have something extra special for you, so make sure that you tune in to the next episode. You can be notified by subscribing to our YouTube channel, of course, and turning on our notifications so that when our next episode goes live, you are the first one to be there. Yes, we will see you next time. Uh, Stay tuned. Keep watching. Comment. Let us know how you like the episode. We want to hear from you. We'll see you next time. Okay. (laughs) I'm sorry. Three, two, one. Okay. (laughs) What's so funny about my face right now? (laughs) Did you stop recording? Oh, okay. It's those times where you got to be serious and like. Three, two, one. Now you have me laughing. Okay. So, yes, I actually did study abroad in Spain. Um, I was waxing at the time already, and my esthetician at the time was using hard wax back in the States. And when I went to Spain, they were not utilizing hard wax at all. Um, So I did, you know, we were going to the beach. I was going on a trip to somewhere can't remember where right now (laughs) but I needed to get waxed and so I found a you know esthetician in Spain um thinking that everyone uses hard wax and everywhere uses hard wax when that's not the case Mm -hmm. when I went they utilized soft wax and I was getting my Brazilian done and the difference in pain was astronomical at least for me I do have sensitive skin and I guess kind of a low pain threshold not sure I I would say low um but when she did wax my Brazilian area with the soft wax it it hurt a lot but the results were impeccable smooth as could be down there so Hard wax, soft wax, <laughs> depends on what area of the world you're yeah. at, but mm-hmm. definitely notice the difference. Look, I for sure can say 100% that my pain threshold is way on the floor. So I commend you because I mean, I, I can only take soft wax with a bikini, not to the full Brazilian. I showed I'll up. Out. I showed up and I saw the strips and I was putting two and two together and I was like, "Oh. Oh, this is this is soft this wax. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. <laughs> I am I'm, I'm going to do it because I need to do it and I need to be clean down there." So Listen, Nicole showed up and showed out in Spain, so what can so, you say? So, yeah. What what had to be done had to be done. There you have it. <laughs> you ever go to spain make sure your star pill um i mean make sure your esth- if you ever go anywhere actually make sure your esthetician is using star pill wax you know that? <laughs>